How's everyone doing? Today I got a mail day right here and it's going to be eight horror movies and if you've seen the movies definitely let me know what you think of them uh, from Horror Pack. Horror Pack is a subscription based service where every month they send you Blu-rays or DVDs. It's usually four and uh, again it depends, the price point depends on uh, how many months you buy and which service you buy. So the more you buy of that service the less it'll be each month and I think this is an awesome idea. I love the concept of it and I feel like they've been listening to me as well because in the past uh, you know just come these bubble mailers with just the movies and nothing else and I said you know what you should put a card in there you should put some kind of advertisement a discount code something with horror pack the name on there, the brand, so when you open it, it's fresh in your mind, you have something, you look at it, like other subscription-based services always have some kind of card or something. So at first it seemed like they were kind of, you know, just throwing the movies in there, but now I like that they're doing that. I've seen uh, the past couple months they've been putting, you know, a discount code or a little card or sticker or something like that in there. And again, I love horror movies, it's my favorite genre by far, so this is something that's really awesome and I love that they're doing this. I'm going to go ahead and open these up. I haven't taken a look at them yet, so let's go ahead and yep, uh, right off the bat you got some stickers, which again I think is awesome. Again, I'm a big fan of what they're doing, I love this concept. Long overdue for the subscription based services, we've seen um, other horror subscription based services out there but not really having movies or centering around movies, so very cool. And then this, this is great, you've got a little write up and a picture description right there, so awesome. Four DVDs or four Blu-rays and then if you have this discount, join the pack, you get $3 off. So very cool, there's your discount code if you'd like to use it. I would definitely recommend it. I think I, I really love just the idea of it where you get random movies, um, random horror movies each month. And I like that it's kind of a mixture of popular and obscure. And now they're having uh, like horror pack exclusives where you can only get these movies through horror pack. I think they teamed up with Midnight, Midnight Releasing, I believe. They teamed up with somebody. I'm pretty sure that's who it was. So they're going to have exclusives through them too. But uh, first up is The Purge, the first Purge movie. Now, I'm not a big fan of the concept of The Purge. I thought uh, the second Purge movie, Purge Anarchy, was by far the best. Purge Election Year, I just, I don't think I would ever watch that again. It just, it's kind of a throwaway, forgettable movie. Um, but the second one was by far the best. This one introduced the concept and was more kind of uh, where you felt, you know, claustrophobic and you're hiding in the house. And then the other two movies were out in the streets, out in the open. You have some parts where they're hiding, but it was more, I felt like, in the streets. Uh, so this one kind of hits the impact of the homeward and being kind of trapped in home invasion style. But again, I don't like the concept of The Purge at all. And I, I'm sure they're probably going to make more movies of it. Uh, this one has Ethan Hawke and a couple of the recognizable people in here. But uh, looking forward to revisiting it. And next up is a Horror Pack Limited Edition Late Night Double Feature. Uh, it says Cannibal Self Mutilation Bloody Revenge. And so this is interesting. I'm um, trying to see which movies, there's audio, there's some good special features in here, audio commentary, actor commentary, all kinds of different things on here. I'm trying to see which movies there are. Okay, uh, Dinner for Monsters, where a chef cooks meals for unique appetites, so I guess that's the cannibals. And next up is Slit, uh, a sadist for hire must survive a serial killer on the loose. And I guess they have like a uh, character, Dr. Nasty's Cavalcade of Horror. I guess it's, they're kind of like hosting this as well. So I like that concept, kind of like Elvira or uh, Joe Bob Riggs kind of thing like that. So I'm digging that concept, looking forward to that. And I love the double feature. It reminds me of the old MGM uh, double features that they used to have, uh, the DVDs for those. And then uh, Stephen King's Children of the Corn, the Midnight Madness series release, which I actually don't have this on Blu-ray, so I'm very happy for this. And I really like the Children of the Corn Urban Harvest. Uh, that was probably my second favorite in the series of it. I thought that was just really, the kid in there was super creepy and bizarre. I love the ending, which just kind of went crazy. But this is a classic right here. And I love the killer kid genre as well. It's one of my favorite uh, subgenres for horror. And my favorite killer kid movie is uh, Who Can Kill a Child? Also known as Island of the Damned. I prefer the title Island of the Damned. Uh, but I guess Who Can Kill a Child is just more grabs your attention and eye-catching. But that movie, if you haven't seen it, highly recommend the heck out of that one. But this is definitely a classic right there. Oh, and I, I'm assuming this is another horror pack exclusive. 
Uh, I've never, yeah, it has horror pack down there at the bottom. Never heard of this one, but it does look creepy. Dolly Deadly, and it's signed, and I love that. That is such a cool, unique feature uh, where they, that's, just, I guess, another exclusive. Uh, so is the other one. So there's two exclusives in this one. You've got the double feature right there. And then you got this movie, which is an exclusive, and it's signed. That's so cool to me. And another thing I like about Horror Pack is they've thrown some really cool stuff in there. Now you get all these exclusives, but they've had steel books and stuff. And now you get signed movies. Hoping this will be uh, fun and entertaining. It, it looks super creepy from the back. Look at that. And dolls are another subgenre that creep me out. First up, the subgenres that creep me out the most: alien abduction movies, then mannequins and dolls, like Dolly, uh, Dolly Dearest, uh, dolls. Trying to think, there's been a few other ones, um, but yeah, this one definitely looks creepy. And uh, mannequins, like when I think of tourist trap, I, I think of the mannequins, and it's a great supernatural slasher. It's my one A, one B all time favorite slasher movie. The granddaddy of all uh, slasher psycho is kind of a prerequisite. But then tourist trap um, with uh, Chuck Connors, Mr. Slauson. And uh, that was just such a creepy movie, still creeps me out to this day. And then after that, it would probably be uh, the original House on uh, Sorority Row and My Bloody Valentine. Uh, but yeah, Killer Kids as well. It's another one that creeps me out for the subgenres, but dolls, mannequins, and aliens all freak me out the most. So it says this is uh, kind of like an 80s throwback, low budget horror movie. So again, it looks creepy. I love the idea of the sign stuff in there too. So those are the Blu rays. Next up are the DVDs. And let's see what we got here. Awesome. This movie definitely needs a Blu-ray release. This is such a this movie creeped the heck out of me. On the short list of movies that freaked me out the most, I would say this is in uh, probably like top five movies that creeped me out the most. First all time, Fire in the Sky, uh, The Exorcist when I was a little kid, uh, Fourth Kind. Um, this one would like, probably be uh, fourth or fifth. Got to really think about the rest, but those are the ones that really jump out in my mind. This one was so atmospheric and creepy, and the noises that are made in here, and just the, the legend of it. Um, and again, it all comes together at the end. It just makes my hair stand up on my arm. I get chills when I watch this movie still to this day. Love this one. Needs a Blu-ray release. Awesome. If you haven't seen Mothman uh, Prophecies, highly recommend that one. Next up is Sanctuary. Quite a conundrum. Hate the title. Um, I feel like I've seen another movie called Sanctuary before, which wasn't very good. And this looks like it's going to be low budget, although the, the chicks look hot in there, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, some people that I haven't really, I'm not too familiar with on here. But I guess it's just all kinds of privileged 20 year olds who just go crazy. And um, I guess something happens at a pool party. And yeah, um, I'll give it a shot. It looks interesting. It's a midnight releasing film. I do dig some of their stuff. Next up is a zombie invasion, a horror pack limited edition DVD, which is almost as big as the title. Um, this is from Afterlight Pictures and Lost Diner Films. I have to be honest, that cover is awful. That cover would not make me want to pick this up. It looks ridiculously low budget. I don't know if it's shot on video or what. This looks like something somebody made on YouTube. Like the cover could have been, you got to come up with something better. Just some guy in a cowboy, hi, uh, cowboy hat, like against the door with hands coming out and some blood. That looks cheap and cheesy, just not in a good way. But yeah, I guess this is a zombie invasion movie right there in the title. Um, I just feel like they could have done something more with, with the cover. Again, that, that would not sell a movie for me. If I saw this at a store, I would just pass it by immediately. Hopefully the movie is better than the cover though. Just being honest with you. Uh, <laughs> again, I like that they have these horror pack exclusives. Hopefully the movie will be decent. Um, but again, cover selling, that's a selling point, it's marketing. And the, they dropped the ball on that, I think, in my opinion. But as far as everything else in here, I'm, I'm loving it. Um, I'm gonna give it a fair chance, don't get me wrong. Don't judge a book by its cover or DVD. Hellraiser uh, Bloodline. And is this the third one? I believe it's the, it's the one where they're in like space or something like that. Uh, no, it's the fourth one. It's the fourth one. And trying to see which one this is. Doesn't really. I, I can't. I know I've seen I've seen all the Hellraiser movies except for the very last one. Um, but for me, the first two are the best. And then you have uh, Hellworld with uh, Lance Henriksen which is really awesome as well. I've talked about that one many times before, but I do love the creepy Cenobites in here. And I gotta remember which, uh, which is this the one that has like the military people, 
kind of like a post-apocalyptic. I can't recall right now, but again, I feel like they they hit a low point towards the middle of them and kind of comes back up a little bit for the series. And it's really not Hellraiser without Doug Bradley as Penhead, but I do love. Uh, everything that Clive Barker's done with the concept of them. And again, the Cenobites are super creepy and definitely atmospheric. And while all the films aren't great in the series, uh, when you see the Cenobites and you see especially Doug Bradley, uh, that definitely drives home uh, the feeling you're supposed to get of the franchise. Doesn't always capture it completely with some of the movies, but I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. It's been a while. So there you go. Those are the, the eight total movies all horror right there from Horror Pack. Again, I, while I did kind of rip the cover on this one, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. Hopefully it'll uh, be better than what the cover looks like. But I'm really excited for uh, this double feature one. I like the idea of these Horror Pack exclusives and that they put in something like this where it's signed. I'm big into getting movie memorabilia and signed stuff like that, so hopefully I dig the movie. It does look creepy. Mothman Prophecies. That is awesome to me. And again, I love the mixture of obscure titles and now they have exclusives and then popular titles as, uh, titles as well. So very cool. Uh, let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you think of them and which was your favorite out of these eight. Leave me a comment or a video response down below and I'll put a link down to Horror Pack as well in the description section. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.